Tyler Tony's going to be facing the AL East teams, mainly the Yankees and the Red Sox. So this will be interesting. This is classic Yankee Stadium, by the way. And yes, I upgraded. I finally upgraded to where, where I have better headphones. And I also can can be able to hear more better gameplay. Let's take a look. There's a left fielder. Fielder, it's that's not is that's not for Dugo. I don't think it is. He doesn't wear number twelve. I think it's Trent Grissom at left field. So let's see. They say Tyler Tony really clear, like they know. And it's Two-way player, big league level, grand slam opportunity already against Carlos Rodon. First pitch to him. Oh, baby! This, yep, they say see ya, way out of here. And a massive home run, a grand slam. And yeah, just they just say his home run the series. Man, I'm getting used to it because. This is one of the first times I've actually been able to hear the game in the background, so that's pretty awesome. Corey Seager, Tavares, and Evan Carter. Corey Seager, the captain, is happy, and somehow he's the same height. Wow. So, look at that. Bringing out the stat cast on that one. That one was smoked, destroyed, and everything. My goodness gracious me. That was, that was, that was 170.3 miles an hour. He knew it was going to hurry. Boss challenge against Carlos Rodon. I think he's mad at him. He gave out the Grand Slam to him. The only big hit they gave out that was run worthy. Now Tyler's coming up. And then the uniforms of 1994, because I love the 1994 jerseys. They're my favorite by Texas Rangers on this game. So all you got to do is just wait for it. Just wait for something big. Here's the first pitch from Rodon in a hurry. Oh, baby! Way out of here. Goodbye. And a long home run. You can't mess with Tyler, man. You cannot mess with Tyler Tony. He is that good. Mm -mm 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 -mm. He's that good at hitting home runs. And now he's just going to be doing a slam dunk right here. Slam you guy. All right. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Somebody's really going to get mad. Look at that. It was just destroyed like that. Just bamboozled in a hurry, too. Just destroyed. And now here he is. Now it's 7-3. to three. He's responsible for five of the RBIs for his team. And he's just like that, getting more settled, relaxed a bit. The pitch. Oh, that's not a swing I wanted to hear. I just done that loud conk of the bat. That's an easy fly out. I knew it was going to be caught. Did not like the sound of that. And now it's 9-3. Can he hit two grand slams in the same game? That'll be interesting. There's the pitch. There it is! Oh my goodness, two grand slams in one game! What? Oh my goodness gracious. Carrying the team. Yep. A four spot on the board, they say. And he there... He's happy to hear that, and the that one little man was just had her head in his spare. Like, why did we pitch to him? Three home runs, two of them grand slams. That look at that. He just provided a big hit right there, destroyed it just like that. Way out of here. Now he's up again. It oh my, it's fourteen to ten. The Yankees are trying to come back here. Well, let's introduce to you why that won't happen. Baby, baby, out of here. Home run. A solo home run is four for the game. This, that guy is unstoppable. And just like that, he's carrying the team. He's already driven in more than 10 RBIs this whole game for this team. Tyler Tony, the greatest of all time. Now that's some conversation I like to hear. Destroyed. I like the sound of that bat. Just cracked. And even the left fielder is like, nope. And the, that was in the bullpen. And now they're going to walk. Well, a massive victory. Sweeping the Yankees. The Yankees got more hits, but the Rangers got more power. Hmm. Now let's take a look at 10 RBIs, 4 runs, 12 for 13, 11 home runs, 20 RBI in this series. 10 complete games as a pitcher. So now with that, let's get ready for our next game. 
starting off against the Boston Red Sox. Ready to face Boston, and we're ready for some payback because when we faced them last time, they literally got to try to get Tyler, and he gave him only three hit, but a solo home run and a shut up, man. He was he shook out 18 of them, but the manager pulled Tyler. Anyway, we're at Fenway Park, the home of the Red Sox in 1912. So you can't say that you can't always replace this. You have to always replace the stadium. You gotta admit, Fenway Park will always be a classic. And here he is in center field. Hires him to the pitcher and center fielder. And we're facing the leadoff there, Jake Fraley. There's the first pitch to him. There's a drive in the shallow center field. Caught by Tyler on the run. Way to go, Tyler. You can't mess with him. You just can't mess with him. And now he's up again facing Matt Moore, who's usually a relief pitcher, but he started his career as a starter. So let's see how he does against Tyler. Not too well. Deep to left field. Forget about it. Into over the green monster and a free souvenir that can get that ball. I hope it doesn't break a windshield. Fun fact, there was a time when Cabrera, who was with the Blue Jays, hit a home run over and it hit someone's windshield. So a little fact for you guys. That's home run number 228. Since he hits a lot, there's Corey Seager. Happy as he could be. And there he is. Slam dunk! Slam dunk! Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Very good. Very good. And there's that first pitch that was just destroyed. And look at him doing that fishing rod. Way to go. And he's up again. He's the only one that got a run for the Rangers. So Matt Morris getting to his prime form as a starter. That is so not sweet when Tyler hits a home run. So sad, too bad, out of here. Another home run is second of the game. And that was massive. And he's just like, okay, he did it again. 453 feet? Jeez, if he keeps up that oh, home runs, he might hit 500. And somehow that bat's floating in the air. Do not question the logic. I don't know the logic of this game sometimes. But look at that. It was destroyed right off the bat. And now he's up again. 3 nothing now. They score. Someone else got a home run or scored a run for the Rangers. 3 nothing. the pitch. All right, it's in the right field. That's going to be at the cutoff. And we're going to have to go for a second here. The throw will be... Would have been in time if the guy tried, but that's just a single. And now there's a runner on first, and Tyler O'Neill. Now, that's a right-handed hitter who's got some pop in his bat. And that's going to be right into... Right into it. Yep. Buddy, let me tell you something. Don't run on Tyler. You're going to be out, buddy. Out! No chance whatsoever. No freaking chance. Not happening, buddy. Not happening. Tyler's to two home runs. It's 5 nothing. Cutter Crawford's on the mound? Cutter Crawford's usually the starter, but now he's a relief pitcher? I don't know what the Red Sox were thinking on that one. And that is not a good swing. I hate that sound when i hits the bat like that because... That is an indicator that it was not hit that good. You hear a crack, but it's not that type of crack. Never mind, I was wrong. Deep to left field, forget about it. Look at that pop and way out of here. Destroyed by Tyler Tony, and that will make it a 6 nothing lead. Homer number 230. And that was pretty good right there. And he's going to do a slam dunk right here. Booyah! Booyah! That was pretty awesome right there. Just destroyed. And here he is, center field. Is still is still anyone's game at this point. And 6 nothing. the pitch. That's a live drive center field. And Tyler's going to get on a hop. And we're going to make a quick throw. And we're going to get the guy at third if we hurry. And he's out of there! I didn't think he was going to go to third. But he's out anyway. And Tyler's three home runs, three RBIs, runner in second. Let's go. Let's just go for power. Because power beats power. Brennan Bernardino is on the mound. A left-hander. He's probably wanted to destroy Tyler with some pitching. But Tyler just will not stop. Way out of here. As high as far as gone. Using the Yankee call signal. Okay. 
a massive home run right there. His fourth of the game. And I think even the Red Sox are like, how can we stop this guy? I don't know how to stop him. And everyone knows it. Nathaniel Lowe is happy seeing his teammate go for another home run. He's the most dangerous hitter. And Adolis Garcia is thinking, I could use some of that power. Look at that pitch. It was just like crushed, destroyed, just like that. And now he's we get an easy win right there. And Matt Moore gets his second loss. And they are mad. They are mad. But there's nothing they can do about that one. Well, with that out of the way, though, let's get ready for one more game. All right, this is still Fenway Park. It's a classic. I love how the crowd stand. And Tyler is still going to be dangerous. And he is facing Tanner Cook. I think that's how you say it. Well, that's a good swing. Line drive, base hit. All right, they're telling me to watch. Okay, okay, coach. Thank you very much. I feel like I'm in NASCAR. Just like listen on the headset. And there's Garcia, 2023 20, Gold Glove winner. But he's batting 220 with 24 home runs. And let's see what's going to happen here. And there's the first, this third pitch. And it's outside. Red Sox apparently, according to this, hold the second wild card seed. So, you know what? Let's just see what's going to happen here. And it's a call ball three. I could have stolen a base. All right. Let's, you know what? What the heck? I'll do it. Let's do this. And it's a walk. They walked him. Okay. And now Marcus Simeon is up. Two on and nobody out. I'm going to stay at... I got to watch it though. He might try to pick me off. There's the pitch. There's a ground ball sharp to second baseman. And he's out there. Double play. Dang it. Good thing I didn't try for home. That would have been a triple play. And I do not want to run into that. And now there's Ezekiel Duran. He is still on the range in real life, but... I think he might be the next, next utility player. There's the pitch. There's a sharp ground ball to the shortstop. And he's out of first. So Tyler does not score, unfortunately. Such a shame, but it happens. And now Tristan Costa's up. You see Andrew Heaney. And the Red Sox have a 1-0 lead. Somehow Andrew Heaney is not the best starter. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. We got cut off, cut off, cut off, cut off, cut off. Cut off. And you better not be playing for second, my dude. That's a mistake waiting to happen. Tyler is one of the most dangerous arms in the pros. So don't mess with him. Now there's runners on first and second. Reese McGuire is catching. And there's two strikes. And one out. There's a pitch. There's a line drive left center field. They're going to say go for three. And they are not going for three because he's got that arm. They know. That's a good throw right there. Now... It's 2 nothing now. Tyler hit a single last time, but they, as far as they got to him, he was on third. The pitch. Oh, ho, ho, that was a crack on that one. That was so, so hard, but unfortunately, that did not do good. Oh, that's a good swing. Deep to left field. Is that going to be over the fence? And it is. And adios baseball. Or adios pelota. And that was a solo home run, and now the Red Sox only have a 2-1 lead, thanks to Tyra Tony cutting the lead in half. And even Trevor Story is like, how in the world did he do that? And Garcia is like, like give me some of that power! <laughs> and, and that was just crushed. And now he's in center field. It's still 1-2. Sedani Rafaela is up. I don't know if I put said that name correctly. Uh-oh, deep to center field. Tyra's running, running, running. Caught at the warning track. What a thro throw, but what a run. Woo. In some ballparks, that probably would have been over the fence, but in this one, not so much. And we're in trouble. Okay. And, and it's 6-2 to two right now, Red Sox. The pitch. Oh, that's that's caught. That is caught. Unless it hits off the wall. Hit off the wall. Okay. All right, stay back. And it's a good thing I stayed at first because I would have probably gotten into some trouble. And, oh, wait. And they just kept adding on to the record blow hit number 263. Oh, wait a minute. He broke the single season hit record. What? I just realized that. He just broke Ichiro's record. Oh. Oh, my goodness. I totally wasn't paying attention. And... 
He just broke it on that swing right there. My goodness, Tyler is the all-time single season hit record king. Now, there's now he's got two strikes, so we're gonna try to run. Let's run here. Let's go. And swing, he's and the throw, not in time. Tyler Tony steals a base. And despite the fifth strikeout, Tyler Tony steals a key base right there to put himself in scoring position. But I'm not going to steal third. So Simeon is a very good contact hitter. He could just get a base hit right up the middle if he wants to. There's the pitch. Oh. All right, back to left field. It's a, and it's gone! Marcus Simeon hit a two-run home run. We're, we're still back in it. We're only down by two. If we can hold him off, I can rally the team on. That'll be awesome. I really want to help rally the team. That was a line drive. I didn't think it was going to get out of here. Let's see that replay. Tyler hesitated, and then next thing you know, it just barely went over the green monster. And it's... I guess we're not going to come back. It's 4-8. to eight. It's going to take a miracle to break, to, to get back in this game at this point. But we can get one right here, deep to left field, way back there, and you can forget about it! Over the green monster! A big fly right there. Tyler does it again. And the second home run of the game, mm -hmm, we know that. Might have to blow their voice a little bit, but look at that. Just destroyed. Happy guy, but we still lost. Five to eight. Heaney needs to not be our starter. And Tanner Hill dominated that time. So, can't win them all, sadly. And as a result, we lost. But, oh, wait a minute. Tyler Tell, you just broke the MLB single seat hitch record. How are you feeling? It feels incredible. I never imagined this dream would actually come true. I mean, you gotta admit, he'll, he would say that. He would say that, believe me. What does it mean for you to break the record? Hmm. It means all the hard work I put in over the years is paying off. It should be in conversation with the greatest of all time. You guys have some little pride in here. That would be good. How are you feeling with that record break at bat? I was just trying to help my team win. Yeah, sadly. No, they lost bad. But in the end, that's pretty much how it goes. I tell everyone, well, no, I'm, I'm going to keep breaking records. That's the truth. He will continue to break records because he can. I right, tell you, you are now MLB's all-time single-season hits leader. Sorry, Ichido. Sit in the back. Congratulations on his thorough achievement. Enjoy the celebration. And we're going to have to end it here, guys. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to subscribe at, and hit that well, over there. Check the playlist and check the videos that YouTube recommends. My reason was so you can catch up. I'll see you next time. God bless you, Rock. Don't forget it.